My first year as a beekeeper, season one. It's the 21st of August 2022 and today's inspection is going to be a quick one. We've rented the honey extractor again in five days time so we're just going to go through and pick out the fully capped over frames of honey and have a quick look at the brood box to make sure everything's okay. Looking at our top super I can see that they've done a pretty good job at repairing the damage that we did cause during our extraction process. Here is a little look at one of the frames. Other than this, all of these frames are completely empty. I'm going to go through each frame, brush the bees off, and then remove this whole box so that they only have one super to focus on. In five days time, I will take the final super away and extract everything. Now that all the bees have been brushed off, let's check in on the other super. Here is a look at one of the frames. We can see that there is still plenty of room for them to store honey in over the next five days. Now moving down to the brood box. On this frame we can see new worker brood trying to emerge. It can take quite a while for them to chew through this layer so I won't be able to film the entire process. Wow this frame is incredibly heavy and is completely full of honey. Moving down to the main brood chamber, last inspection we didn't get to see the queen, so today we're just looking to see if we can find her or some eggs. Flicking through the first couple, I eventually see some eggs, so at this point the inspection is complete and we have everything we need. I'll be back in the next five days to collect the frames from the super and do our extraction. I won't do a separate video for this extraction, so I thought I'd include some content in this video for you. From this super we included some frames which didn't have any wire supports going through them. This was so that I could experiment with producing some honey with some honeycomb inside. Let's take a look at these. Here is a picture of some honeycomb. Here is the same frame with the cross section, doesn't it look fantastic? Here is a clip showing us filling one of these jars. Be sure to check out our website to see if you can get your hands on one of these or any of our other products. We only have enough honeycomb to make 12, so I'm sure they'll sell out pretty quickly. And that's it. Thanks for sticking with us until the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.